The true definition of the word Kung Fu is hard work. Kung Fu is really something that you pour yourself into. It's a way through which you see the world. It's a process that you go through to make sense of everything around you, but at the same time yields a real world result. A mandala is a sacred shape or form. A deeper meaning behind a mandala is a roadmap of energy of infinite flow. These pieces were made from me executing the core movements of my Bagua forms. Although it is made from martial forms, martial techniques, martial principles, it creates something that is well beyond that. There were some movements where I physically had a smile on my face as I was performing the forms and techniques. And the way the photos came out, it came out very symmetrical, very round, it had a nurturing feel. It was very soft. And there were others where the mindset was that of war. And that clearly translated into the photos. The reason why I love this art so much is because it embodies the philosophy that everything comes from nothing. And when this everything is not needed anymore, it goes back to nothing. And the process starts all over again. And to me, that is so powerful because that's life. You can be nothing if you choose to be nothing or you can be everything. But in order to do that, you have to engage with something. And then that's when you make that jump where inspiration becomes action and action yields a product. That process repeats over and over and over again, all the way through life. And at the end, when we die, we go back to nothing. Press repeat. Bagua really for me, encapsulates all of that and it gives me a process that I can go through to have deeper understanding of life. That's really how ancient knowledge is relevant in today's world. The core philosophy of our school is the cultivation and demonstration of skill. It's not about training for perfection because you're never gonna be perfect. You can train to throw a punch in so many different ways and you can train to be so precise, but there's gonna be a point where all of that is gonna fail. There's gonna be a point where you're gonna miss. So the real point of everything is not training to be perfect, but it's training so that you know what to do when you make a mistake. That's the true question. What do you do when you make a mistake, not if you make a mistake? The reality of it is, 99% of the people that are learning the martial arts will probably never use it in the way that they learned it. That's just the truth. To demonstrate a high level of skill and to make it useful in your life, you have to see past the way you're learning things. Before we are martial artists, we're human beings. As human beings, we all strive to be happy, so that's how I wanna share all my arts, through the dialogue of what makes you happy. I don't like engaging in dialogue of my art is better than yours, or my style is better than yours, or my teacher can beat up your teacher. That, to me, is the opposite of what all martial arts strives to do. When I looked at the pieces, the ones that gave me the same exact feeling as when I train, those are the ones that I chose to show to the public because that is what I'm trying to share. I'm trying to share this feeling that I have inside when I train, this thing that changed my life. That's how the collection was made. For those who want to look deeper, there is a lot of information and a lot of things that are contained in these Kung Fu mandalas. Through these mandalas, I want to inspire people 
to find their Kung Fu and to pour themselves into their Kung Fu and manifest their ideal life. Life will go on without these light paintings, but at the same time, I know that it can be life-changing and profound to some. So here it is, take it for what it's worth. I know I'm not gonna change the world with one photograph, but if I did, that would be great too.